So let's take a look at this question. We're asked to write the equation of a line with slope negative 2. So we know that m equals negative 2. And it passes through this point. Now this point is going to be our x1, y1. So when we write the equation, we're going to use our point slope form. We're going to keep the y the, y, the way it is, excuse me. And the y1 is negative 3. So we're going to subtract that. y minus y1 equals m. In place of m, I'm going to go ahead and put my negative 2 times x minus x1, which is 1. So all I've done is replace the three values that I know. I've substituted those. Now down here, what I can do when I have minus a negative is change that to a plus. So y plus 3 equals negative 2, x minus 1. So maybe that's your answer. Maybe your answer is in another form and you would have to simplify this out. Okay, another example. This time we have slope 0. So once again, we're going to use the point slope form formula. Okay, and we're going to substitute our values. So I've identified this as my x1, y1, and this is going to be my m value. Now that I have those, I can put it into the formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Notice there are parentheses. So you know that when you see answer choices with parentheses, it's most likely going to be in point slope form. All right, so the y1 is 3. So we have y minus 3 equals... 0 times x minus negative 5. All right, 0 times anything is 0, so that whole thing just becomes 0. And I have y minus 3 equals 0. All right, well, usually we wouldn't see it left this way. Usually we would go ahead and solve for y. So if I add 3 to both sides, that leaves me with y equal to 3. Now I know anytime there's no x in an equation, that's a horizontal line. That's a slope of 0. And we know that from right off the bat that our slope is zero, so that makes sense. This would be the same as if we put plus zero x on the end.